It all starts down here, milking, Lily and I mostly, seven days a week, about two to two and a half gallons per cow, two cows, that's four to five gallons a day. From our stanchion, we literally walk right up through there and up to, that's our kitchen, in there. That's our house. Once inside, we bring it into our cool room. Found this to be a little hack, you know. Put it inside of our coolers, inside of our cool room, and there's not as much pressure. They're empty, of course, because we just got our milk out to cream separate, but one cow in that one, one cow in that one, three or four ice packs, and then once they're done, we put them on the rack. This was slap full of milk this morning. We're cooling it off to 40 degrees within the first hour. That just helps preserve it longer. That just helps stop the breaking down process and it makes it last a little bit longer, a little bit fresher. So every week we get all the milk out of there and get about 20 to 25 gallons right now. We'll talk about the cream processing here in just one second. But the first consumption is milk. We've saved out a gallon and a half-ish. That's probably what we're about drinking in a day, wouldn't you say, Beck? Yeah. Hey, do you, does anybody want to eat milk right now? Sure. Just Lily? So how often do you guys drink milk a day? No, what, probably, I don't know. Breakfast. You like it. Once or twice? Yeah, once. A day, probably. Whenever you feel like we it? need more milk. Okay, milk. I'll get you some. So here's some more milk. Look at that cream line on that milk. Is that Flossy or Phyllis? Yeah, that's Phyllis. She gets more cream. Let's just stir it in a little bit with that cream. All right, who wants more? Me! Just like and you haven't even had any. I know. I have any. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's enough. I want to see your milk mustache. I want to see your milk mustache, Mr. Brown. Oh, you don't get a milk mustache with a straw. Oh, there he goes. I can make it. There he goes. Lift up your hat so I can see you. It's my hat. Nice. Anyway. Look at mine. Oh, you got one. All right. Lily's working on hers. Okay, I like that. Milk mustache. What are so you I, would, for? I would guess that you guys probably drink half a gallon to a gallon a day. Of just, just straight up drinking. Next up, and the most easiest to do, is yogurt. Say so you have your milk. It's usually best to do it. Right after you milk, the, the milk's at 100 degrees. That's what you want it out to make yogurt. You could put your milk, we put it straight in the dehydrator. You put, so now you gotta put after first you gotta, filter it, then we put in yogurt starter. That's right, I forgot that step. Whoops, that's important. How much of that? It's one third of a cup of yogurt. And I just used the previous yogurt. Yeah. You can use a starter every time. Like, so I should say this, there's different things like, I know that there's packets that you can put in, or you can just use commercial yogurt, or you can use your previous yogurt type thing. But yeah. I will say this, yogurt, homemade yogurt is not like store-bought yogurt. Um, especially if it's raw, it's gonna be thinner. It will sometimes just be a little bit yeah. different. But that's okay, like I'm not trying to create the store at home. Nope. We have nuts in here dehydrating, but these racks would be out. We would put our milk in there. I'm about to clear out those nuts and then, okay. cause I'm gonna culture cream. Yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to the culture cream in a second. So you would put your yogurt in there at 100 degrees for uh, 24 hours. Yeah, it worked out. Well, it's not yogurt yet. It'd be milk with a little bit of yogurt in it. And then in 24 hours, it's yogurt. Super easy. And it turns to this. It's amazing. Does anybody want any yogurt right now? Maybe not as, maybe you don't like it as much as Milk. Lily will take me up on it. You want some yogurt? I'll have, I'll have some yogurt. Okay. All right. Is it just Lily? Okay. Do you, do you want any? Is that enough, Lily? Yeah. Put your little honey on it. Mm. And a spoon. Here's your spoon, honey. You got your honey? Okay. Yeah. Let's see you try it. All right. Go for it, sweetie. Yum. I'd say we eat, we probably eat yogurt every other day, maybe. How, how, how many yogurts do you think, how much yogurt do you think we eat in a week? Well, it just depends. We kind of ebb and flow. If we make a lot of smoothies, 
then we use more yogurt and if we eat if sometimes the kids will eat more yogurt than others or if we make like frozen yogurt so we use anywhere between a gallon to three gallons a week just depends upon yeah. our yogurt consumption we were doing like three gallons every week consistently when we were doing smoothies every night we were eating yogurt and doing that but then we've kind of dialed it back and i would say right now we might be at about a gallon and a half okay at this point so it just depends yeah so I'm gonna get to that in a second. That's like the golden, we're gonna get to that, that's butter. So we get all our milks together, we put them in these five gallon pots. Today we needed four. Four? Four every time. Four every time. Well, we, when we have two cows of milk. We get it up to 100 degrees, and it comes over here to our cream separator. Grandma comes and helps us. This is a, this is a lifesaver. You pour the milk in, it separates the cream, it comes over here, and grandma and Jonah's handy dandy pipe down to a food grade bucket that catches the skim. I would say for every five gallons of milk, you get what? A quart? At least. A quart of cream, at least. Different pastures produce different amounts of cream. Yeah, different cow. Like Phyllis so. gives more cream. Well, because Phyllis is we because Phyllis's calf is weaned, we yeah. get more cream. Yeah. When we, we're gonna wean Flossie's calf next month. Mm -hmm. So then we'll get more cream from Flossie. For sure. So Rebecca, how much of today's cream do you think? Ooh, look, there's a whole nother. How much of that do you think we'll save for actual like cream? Like we like it in our tea. Uh, I've been saving this for tea yeah. and ice cream and that for cultured cream. Ah, so how much is that? It's a half a gallon. So you'll save a half a gallon for ice cream and two quarts and cream for our tea. Mm -hmm. And this is for cultured cream. Hey Rebecca, do we have a jar of cultured cream? No, I buttered it all. Today. Okay, so buttered, you buttered it all. I buttered it all, okay. and so then we start afresh on Saturday with a new week. So yeah, so we would cultured cream. All you gotta do is put some cream in a quart in jar. A quart jar Three Again, of yogurt. three tablespoons of yogurt in our dehydrator on 100 for 24 hours. How much cultured cream do you think we save every week? How much do we save? We do a half a gallon. Okay, okay, so, yeah. Cultured cream. We do that half a gallon. And then, here's the good part. You turn that cultured cream into butter? Mm -hmm. That's what you're doing right now? Yes. Oh my so word. You can use you can turn that into butter. Okay. That would be called sweet cream butter. That's sweet cream butter, because it wasn't cultured. And then this is cultured, which just means that it was fermented. It just yeah, so, okay. So let's say our cultured cream was in there, because it was. Yes, this is what, yeah. This and is. we might use it as a dip, as a sour cream. When we were used, when we were on GAPS diet early on, we ate a lot more of it. Yeah. I'm noticing that we're eating a lot less of it. We put um, it in our soups. We put it on tacos. We in the beginning pancakes, we pancakes. put it on we put it on so much. We used yeah. to mix it with honey and freeze it for a treat and yeah. put in applesauce. We've made ice cream from cultured cream. I mean you can you can use cultured cream in any dish that you would use cream in. Yeah. And so it's a little bit different. Whatever we didn't use as cultured cream, though, is what's cool is you take whatever we didn't use as cultured cream as a dip. You want more milk? Yeah, yes, I'll get you more milk in one second. Hey. Oh, okay. Josiah, can you help him get some more milk? Thank you, my man. So, what we didn't use as cultured cream is it like a dip or a, a topping? We then turn it into butter. Well, that was eight sticks of butter right there. Right now, we're currently not having to buy any butter. Now, what do we do with all this skim milk? <laughs> There's like four full buckets. There's actually a little bit more in there. We're gonna let it finish dripping. What do we do with all this skim milk? All right, well, I'll show you. So we have four plus a half buckets of skim this week we have a half a bucket left so that's gonna be five buckets if we did that half a bucket every day that would last 10 days so we can give a little more than a half a bucket we can probably give about that much you can estimate that way about eight eight pounds a gallon 
and so that's two and a half pounds so 16 20 pounds let's say let's count it as 10 because it's scraps it's not the the uh, completely balanced pig food so that's that's 10 pounds of their diet guys that could feed a five month old pig our pigs in the woods that are a little bit older we just supplement with a little bit of our food screens a little bit of grains and that is a significant part of our pig's diet all right look i got a significant i already poured them some over there but look i got a skin though with some grain and a lot of our food scraps That is a significant portion of their food. Actually, skim milk, food scraps, and a little bit of grain is their only portion right now. And only recent have we started to supplement with grain because, well, they're getting bigger, 160-ish, 70 pounds. So hopefully you see just how valuable our family cows are to us. They're, you know, I was, I was someplace and I saw it. It was a classic photograph. It was an, an old-timey man and it was black and white and he was holding a family cow outside of his house and, and his family was in the background sitting on the porch like barefoot and the title of the photo was prized possession yeah and it's not just look guys it's not just the 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 milk the yogurt the cream the cultured cream the butter the ice cream it's Look at this too. Boom! Do you see that? 40 pounds of manure a day. That's compost to be put back on pasture or in our gardens. Prized possession. It's, it's a lot of work. It's a big startup cost. Oh, and by the way, they give you a calf every year too. Yeah, that's valuable. Bit of maintenance, but totally worth it. The price of homegrown, 100% grass-fed, raw milk for all those products, the price of that, what is that? It's priceless.